guys, it's uh, Thursday morning, 7.35. I'm getting ready to go through my new routine and show you guys what uh, this whole raw vegan lifestyle is all about. So let me go ahead and uh, turn this around. Try to do it as gently as possible so I don't give you guys any sort of dizziness. Here we have the uh, Jack LaLanne Power Juicer. Okay, and it's... Uh, Looks like this Power Juicer Pro. There's several brands, and we actually went with the stainless steel because uh, we think that's much healthier for you. Um, we also purchased an Oster food processor so we can make sorts of yummy things with nuts and sprouted beans uh, since we will no longer be doing any fish or eggs, which is what we normally used to eat. Uh, we were vegetarians before but we used to eat uh, well, I don't know the name uh, Pakistanians or whatever we used to eat the fish and and the eggs um, let me go ahead and uh, pan over here and we've got our um, dehydrator and with this uh, dehydrator we plan to make um, raw recipes uh, with um, breads and um, uh, crackers and um, dried fruits and veggies and fun stuff to uh, keep our palates entertained and we bought ourselves a nice little blender here also uh, Oster and it uh, pre-programmed settings and it seems to work pretty good and pulverize and making beautiful smoothies this morning we're having lemon water and that's very good to detoxify your bodies um, Violet is cutting up some of the veggies here for our juice that we're going to make this morning, our green juice, which is our typical. And uh, along with our green juice, we're going to have a fruit salad. In the morning, it is best to just have uh, fruits and vegetables since in the morning, your body is uh, going through the elimination process. So um, you want to help it along instead of hinder it. And uh, right over here, we got ourselves our baby mung beans, is it how it's pronounced? Mung beans, which are great to clean out your intestines. And they have some, so much vitamins and minerals and all sorts of healthy properties to help detoxify you. Years of putting in cooked food and years of doing, well, you know, alcohol and all those uh, things that actually toxify your body and create all sorts of imbalances and diseases. And... Um, the big C cancer, which is uh, really an epidemic in our uh, society. You see these little guys here, they're sprouting. And right now we're gonna go through a process of rinsing and um, letting them do their thing. Right now they're kind of like sprouting a bit. Let me see, I don't know if this light is, there we go, working good. And if you guys could actually get a good, good picture of that, let me zoom in. There it is, tap on this guy. Are actually okay what we do is we uh, gently with like warm water and as you uh, okay, nice. you're gonna do is like really you have to really agi agitate it really good so you get all the guys even the ones on the bottom Right, a little. You're supposed to get a little cap. We haven't been able to find any uh, sprouting caps that have like a little filter. Um, I guess South Floridians don't really sprout much, so I'm gonna have to order them. I'm sprouting materials there, so we could uh, start sprouting our nuts and beans. And I mean, you could sprout about anything. I just, it's amazing how. You put stuff in water, you soak it for 8 to 12 hours, and then you put it in a jar, remove uh, all of the moisture, and let it sit, and it starts to grow little roots and little leaves and, and all sorts of uh, greens, you know, chlorophyll, they become alive. And that's how you release the enzymes and the foods, and that's how you'll actually get all your nutrients. So if you think about it, you're eating all this cooked, dead food, no wonder we are such a fat nation. We're not getting any nutrients whatsoever. So, um, okay. Don't put that up so high and just kind of like really agitate them. Oh, 
that's the more you agitate the more you like cleanse out because you don't want any fungus or anything like that uh going they're on they're sprouting already. already yeah and it's only the second day today's the second day usually you have to let them sprout for three to five days the longer you let them sprout the more leafy stuff that start to grow and that's what actually gives you the nutrients instead of cooking the beans to death which gets rid of all the nutrients you actually soak them eight to twelve hours then you uh, do this process for two or three days where you clean them out you're supposed to rinse them out every uh, eight to twelve hours at least like twice a day in the morning and at night before you go to bed and uh, make sure you get all the moisture out and get the guys at the end there I think these were probably soaked a little too long because they're already falling apart and soft um, but these are our first experiments, so I'm sure our first batch, you know, we uh, are novices at this and learning. So you're learning with us as we go along. Okay, so then what you do, let me go around this way. Tilt it this you way. You tilt it. And let it drain on the um, you let it drain. Dish, uh, dish rack. And we will do the other rinsing process again in another 12 hours. But we'll let you know how that looks like. Possibly tomorrow since I don't think there's going to be much change between this morning and tonight Okay, so we're gonna get ready to juice but... okay. All right guys, I'm going to Try this little bad boy so that thing motor around for a good five to ten seconds before Putting stuff in and uh, as you can see we've got uh, our greens here we've got uh, a lemon half a lemon here. We've got some celery we got apple, cucumbers. So let's see how this bad boy operates. How that works. This is raw and live, folks. Raw juice, raw and live. Learning as we go along, and uh, it's all good. Okay, let's start off with celery. to mix in all this wonderful goodness and then you make sure that everything's out because sometimes a little bit stays in the chute and we don't want to waste none of that stuff vegetables nowadays man they're expensive Here's a close-up of what it looks like. It's green. And inside here, we've got the pulp, all the leftover stuff, which we're not going to throw out. What we're going to do with this here, because this is goodness, is we're going to put it in a little freezer bag, freeze it, and when we make our smoothies, we'll add that to a smoothie so we get some nice fiber. Anyway, and now what we're going to do is we're going to pour this goodness inside cups and it probably yield a good uh, six ounce or so for the both of us now would you say we're going to be having that with the uh, fruit salad let me uh, turn this around here all right um that was our morning uh, challenge. Uh, it will get easier as we go along. You know, nothing in life comes super easy. It's all part of um, evolving, growing, learning, and caring about the vessel, the vessel that is so important for us. 
and uh, we've mistreated it so much throughout the years and throughout the life. Being a trans man, putting all that testosterone and going through all those surgery really did create a major insult in my body. And I've actually, I could truly say that after surgery, I've never been the same, you know, because you, you're just never the same. I mean, I don't ever regret what I did. I love the man that I've become and um, the journey that I've taken. But um, it does take a toll. So I'm planning to do things to rejuvenate myself and let my cells heal and just just grow throughout spiritually and physically and, and totally just become at peace within. So stay tuned for more. This was our morning at the Cummings residence, juicing with uh, wonderful nature's, nature's best. Um, yeah, we're going to make a fruit salad, so hang tight, and uh, we'll put that on the video as well, and probably also uh, show you some of the workouts and all that stuff, so see you guys in a little bit.